What is happening to everyone? Brian Mello here over at Marty's Chevrolet. And in front of me today is a 2021 Chevrolet Suburban RST. This thing's finished in gray wood metallic paint, which is new for 2021. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to give you a peek at it. As with most of my videos, we're gonna do a quick walk around the outside of this thing, show you some of the features there, and then I'll jump inside and show you what goes on inside as well. So first things first, here's a look at your key fob. Of course, you get your lock, your unlock, your remote start, lift and lower the lift gate, and your panic button. Business as usual. I'm gonna fire it up really quickly. Of course, I'll always address it. First things first, if you're seeing the LEDs flicker, that's just the way the camera picks them up. LED lights actually flicker at a really high rate of speed that the human eye does not see, but cameras do. So if you see that in a video, that's what it is. I'm gonna shut it down. And now let's get right into it. So starting up front, first things first, you can see you've got the blacked out bow tie, blacked out grill. The RST, which actually stands for Rally Sport Truck, takes, gets rid of pretty much all the chrome and blacks out everything, which I'm a big fan of. You've got your LED headlights, once again with the LED day running light. You can see down here, you've got these cool new aerodynamic slits similar to the uh, Silverado that cut through the front bumper. We've got front parking sensors. You can see those here, one, two, three, four. And then underneath the bow tie, you'll see the front camera for the HD surround vision camera system. And I will show you how that works once we get inside. Underneath the hood of this is the 5.3. It is not the 6.2, although the 6.2 is optional. We've got a new design 22 inch wheel and those are on 275 Bridgestone tires. I love black with machine face, big fan of that. Once again, RST, I try and black everything out. You can see we've got a blacked out uh, Suburban badging on the door. Side mirrors also have your marker indicators built in and you can see right here, another camera for the HD surround vision camera system. Now I'm gonna give you a quick peek here at the window sticker. If you're watching this on a computer, you can pause this and you should be able to see everything that's on the sticker. I know if you're on mobile, it's probably gonna be a little bit tougher, but feel free to try. Right here, you can see standard vehicle price 62,800. However, we added in the luxury package. We added in the rear media package and nav and all of that stuff brings our total vehicle price to 69,405. Also, you can see your average fuel economy combined 1719 highway keyless entry so just make sure you have your key fob hit that button that will let you in we've got blacked out side steps you do have the option for power if you choose to go that route i'm just going to back up here and give you a nice full side profile of the suburban once again really love how these have come as far as the design big fan of this body line you'll actually see it even more noticeably as i walk around the back Really, really great looking SUV. So in the back, once again, everything's been redesigned. We've gotten a new tail light design. You can see we've got that big split uh, design, which on the old ones, actually we don't even have, these two are pre-owned, but you can see kind of where the design cues have evolved over time. Rear backup camera hidden right there underneath, once again, the blacked out bow tie and the blacked out Suburban. RSD badge in the lower right hand corner. We've got our rear parking sensors, and then underneath that little center cap there is your trailer tow package, all set up and ready to go. Underneath the LED third brake light is your wiper, all hidden and stowed away. And I'm gonna use the key fob to pop open the lift gate, and inside we go. Now, as far as space goes, this thing has plenty of it. I'm actually going to use the controls right here. You can see you can lift and lower the seats right from the back. You can also do the captain's chairs as well. However, those will only remote down, they will not remote up. So if you take those down and then you gotta, you'll have to go up front to lift those back up. Full AC outlet back here, which is nice to have if you're uh, gonna have any like, you go on a camping trip or you go to like a kid's sporting event or something or tailgating and you want a way to plug into the back, that's really convenient and nice to have. Underneath here, just a little storage container. You do have tie down hooks as well if you want to hide stuff, you don't want anything to be seen. And I'm just going to grab this button here and that will drop the lift gate down. Now, I normally go into the back seat and show that first, but I do apologize, the truck's a little bit dirty, just came in off the truck. I pulled the plastic off the seats literally about five minutes ago. Let's fire this up. I'll leave the key here. Let's turn the radio down and I'm going to show you 
Let me just hit these buttons, take it out of demo mode. Okay, I'm gonna show you the rear entertainment first. Helps if I uh, don't lock myself out. All right, so in the back, now, I do wanna show off this first because I absolutely love this. You've got this leather textured look and then you've got gray stitching with red stitching and then they've added this new piping around the seat as well. Really, really nice, nice addition uh, to make this thing have that more luxury feel. Of course, you've got your drop down armrest. There's some plastic there. I had to pull that off the screen so the screen would work. Uh, but let's jump inside so you guys can see. Now, You've got 12.6 inch full color displays back here. And these actually work independently of each other. Come on. There we go, I was just hitting the wrong spot. You do have to make sure you hit the power button unless um, you can also operate this obviously from up front. So as I said, these work independently of each other. So if you have two kids that wanna watch two different shows, they can do that. Whether it's, uh, you wanna hook up an Apple TV or a Roku or an Amazon stick or whatever the case may be, you can do that and it's very easy. You can see down here, you've got your heated seats, but you've also got two HDMI ports, two USB-Cs, and then down low, there's a full power outlet. So whatever you need to hook up, you can do so. I know keeping the kids quiet is, is quite a nice thing when you're driving, especially long distance. Another thing I like to show off just really quickly is if I hit the navigation back here, let's say, you know, I'm hungry. Well, where do you guys want to go? I don't know. Um, let, me, let, me, let me think about it. I'm going to go to search, and I'm going to go to food. I'm going to go to all food, and let's scroll down, and you know what? To Sunset Grill. That sounds like the place for me. I am gonna hit send, and what that's gonna do is that's actually gonna send the request all the way up front. You can see it there, and the driver can either accept or ignore that request. It'll load automatically into the navigation, and then not only you, but your passengers can follow along uh, on the way to that destination. Pretty cool little feature there. Give you a quick peek at the door. Bose Audio, of course. All right, now let's hop up front. Once again, I really, really, really like to uh, showcase the new design here. You can see, once again, we've got that textured leather to kind of break up the seat. We've got the red stitching and the gray stitching and that piping that runs all the way down the edge. Got your power seat controls here and power lumbar support. And I'm just gonna spin around so you can get a look at your door. Just the combination that they did. You can see here, this is almost like a um, like a carbon fiber look. And then when you've got the aluminum trim, everything just matches up and works really, really well. Tell you what, the interiors on these have come quite a long way. So as with most of my videos, I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly. If you have any questions, concerns, comments at the end of this, by all means, please do not feel, uh, be afraid to ask. Leave a comment down below and uh, I will address whatever I have missed. So let's get right into it. Right here, we've got our memory seat controls. We've got our power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, and of course you can tuck these little guys in if you're going to be parked somewhere and you want to make sure no one's taking your mirrors off. Get your cameras built in there. You don't want to lose one of those. We've got our power parking brake, lane departure warning, traction control, parking sensors on or off, automatic stop on or off. I'm really happy that I have the ability to turn that off. I'm not a huge fan of the, uh, all the newer vehicles now are pretty much have these this feature where you come up to a light or a stop sign, the vehicle's engine shuts off in order to bring that fuel economy up. And just something I'm not a big fan of. I know a lot of people don't care, but if you're anything like me, you'd be happy that you do have the option. Turn on or off the AC power outlets, your four-wheel uh, four drive and drive control modes here. So if you wanna get crazy with it, you can throw this thing into sport mode, off-road mode, tow haul, or, you know, normal. Headlight controls are here. Gauge cluster brightness is here. And I know everybody always asks what this slot is for. What this is actually for is, let's say you have a parking badge uh, to get into like your garage at work. So you can keep your parking badge there so it doesn't have to go anywhere. Or maybe you get into a parking garage, they give you a ticket, you can slap that ticket right there so you don't lose it. So that's what that is for. I know some people actually have like a prepaid Dunkin' Donuts card there. So when they go to Dunkin' Donuts, they just hand it out the window, back it goes so you don't lose it. So that's what that slot is for. Or at least that's what I've been told it's for. Uh, over on the steering wheel of your heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, your cruise control settings. Once again, nice blacked out uh, bow tie in the center of the steering wheel. On the right, you've got your hands-free audio controls. 
Volume is on the back. Uh, media relations for the New England Patriots. Patriots practice. And then this toggle right here goes through all your different information right here on the gauge cluster. You can see as I navigate through there, we've got our distance. You can see brake pad life on here, your fuel range, oil life, tire pressure, air filters, all those kind of things right there. You can leave it on home. You can check out your radio, toggle through your radio stations this way. You can leave it on navigation, phone, and you can also customize this in the settings menu as well to make it uh, fit whatever your needs are. Uh, over here, we've got our 10.2 inch full color Chevy MyLink system. You've got AM, FM, XM satellite radio. We've got Apple CarPlay. We've got Android Auto. We've got a 4G LT Wi-Fi hotspot built in. We've got everything. I'm actually gonna give you guys a quick look here. Um, one thing I really think is pretty neat is you have the trailering system, which gives you, um, it gives you like a checklist of things to do before you start your trailering. You can also, if you pull multiple trailers, you can set multiple trailers up in here so the vehicle knows which one is hooked up. Really cool system. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but if you're someone that does a lot of towing, really cool system to have. Your HD surround vision camera system. Let's go through that. So you can see right here, I'm looking at an overhead view. Uh, let's throw this thing in reverse. Very, very accurate. Really, really cool system. Throw this thing back in park. Now the dot corresponds with where you're looking. So we're looking at the back, uh, put it in park. So it kicked me out. Uh, now we're looking at the front, looking at the back, looking at the front, overhead front, overhead back. Got our curb hunter camera, so if you're gonna pull this thing in the city and you're gonna pull close up to a curb, make sure you're not damaging your 22 inch wheels. That's nice to have there. And your trailer hitch camera. You also have the see-through trailer camera. I know it's hard to, it's kind of hard for me to explain, but basically it's a camera that goes on the back of the uh, back of your trailer. So if you were to hit the trailer cam, you'd be able to actually see straight through the trailer and see what's behind it. Really, really awesome feature. Once again, if you do a lot of trailering, this thing is ready to go for you. Digital climate control now. You can control everything right through the MyLink system. It's gonna synchronize to the analog controls down low. I'm just gonna turn that back off, go home. Your rear media controls. So if you wanna control the TVs in the back, of course you can do that. You've got apps, your My Chevrolet, so you can log into your My Chevrolet account. Really, really intuitive system, looks awesome. If you look at your navigation, very, very, very intuitive system. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, infotainment systems and vehicles where you gotta kinda tap everywhere to figure out where the heck to go. This thing is not that way at all. Very, very easy to use. Uh, transmission, there's no more shifter anymore. It seems like everyone's uh, going the way of the button. So you can see park, reverse, neutral. Now we're in drive. Let's go back to park, pretty simple. I thought this would actually bother me way more. Now it's just uh, muscle memory. Uh, I was like, ah, I really want the shifter, but uh, after driving these around for so long now, it's just se second nature. You hop in, you throw this thing and drive and off you go. Right side of the Intellink system, we've got a felt pocket here. Actually, one of our, uh, one of my followers actually, I, I was like, what the heck is this thing for? And I realized there's no uh, sunglasses holder up top anymore. So this is to put sunglasses in and the felt is so they don't get scratched up. Good job, GM, nice feature. I do want to point out too, once again, this textured leather with the aluminum and then the red stitching, just a really, really nice look. Really, really freshens this thing up. And if I didn't mention it, RST stands for Rally Sport Truck. Fun fact of the day. Underneath that, here's your power controls for your Chevy MyLink system. You've got your climate controls down low, heated seats, USB-C, USB port, power outlet. Right here, we've got a wireless charging dock. They've moved this uh, from where it previously was right here because people would hit the gas or hit the brakes and off your phone would go. So really glad they made that change. So if you have a modern phone, almost anything nowadays, just drop the phone there. It will charge wirelessly for you. And you've also got wireless access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto now, which is, which is fantastic. Inside your center console, we've got a little organization tray, another USB, USB-C, and an SD card slot. And if you haven't noticed, there's plenty of places to plug in. Running out of power should not be an issue inside this thing. There's a nice look at your door. Once again, that aluminum trim, that carbon fiber kind of look with the red stitching, awesome, awesome design. Glove box, I don't think we need to go into that. It's a glove box. You've got Bose Audio. You can see that Bose logo down there on the speaker. Above us, we've got our programmable garage door openers. We can lower, uh, fold the seats in the back from here. This is your lift gate controls. We've got LED interior lighting. You can see your OnStar buttons have moved from the mirror to the overhead position. 
And that, my friends, is kind of the uh, very, very quick rundown, semi-quick rundown, of this 2021 Chevy Suburban RST. I'm gonna hop out real quick, give you just one more look at the front with the headlights on. And once again, if you have any questions or concerns or something I didn't highlight, um, in fact, there is one more thing that I didn't mention and everyone always yells at me for it. I think I didn't mention it. If I, if I did, oh well, you get to hear it again. Independent rear suspension in here now gives you more room inside the vehicle and handling is much improved over the previous generation. And there you have it, my friends, 2021 Chevrolet Suburban RST. As always, I thank you all for watching. It looks like the rain is coming in. Please like, subscribe, follow along, leave comments down below, support my channel. I've got a ton of more great videos coming up. We've got the High Country Suburban. We've got the, um, the Tahoes. We've got all kinds of fun stuff, including the new trucks coming. So uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. I'm out of here. Take care.